Michael was the son of George and Sally Mansour. Sally was a social worker, George a Marine. Little Mike's first week in kindergarten went well, but on week two, trouble started. Sally Mansour says Mike just wouldn't wear the nice clothes she laid out. He insisted on mixing plaids and stripes. But we sort of suspect he was just waiting for the strength of navy blue. Mike's path to the Navy had its obstacles. He suffered from terrible asthma, coughing fits. So Mike strengthened his lungs by swimming. He played football and rode a snowboard. He enlisted in the Navy, and this boy with asthma said he was going to be a Navy SEAL. Well, less than a third who try become Navy SEALs. But in September 2004, Michael Monsoor earned the right to wear the Navy SEAL trident. One of Mike's instructors said, what's the deal with this Monsoor guy? He just says, roger that to everything. Mike deployed to Ramadi, Iraq in the spring of 2006 and brought that attitude with him. Ramadi had been a violent and intense area. The SEALs were charged with special operations. In May, Mike and another SEAL ran into the line of fire to save a wounded teammate. With bullets flying, Mike returned fire with one hand while helping pull the injured man to safety with the other. Roger that. Then, on St. Michael's Day, September 29, 2006, Mike and two teammates had taken a position on the outcropping of a rooftop when an insurgent grenade bounced off Mike's chest and fell in front of him. He didn't pause for a second. Mike yelled, Grenade! and leapt on top of it before it exploded. Mike's body shielded the others from the brunt of the blast, and two other SEALs were only wounded. Roger that. Mike Monsoor died about 30 minutes later. Mike Monsoor never led an army or commanded a nation, yet he will never be forgotten. For putting his country before self, Michael Monsoor became the fourth Medal of Honor recipient in the War on Terror. It's the nation's highest military distinction, given for untold valor, valor beyond anything that duty requires or a superior could command. Almost every SEAL on the West Coast turned out for Mike's funeral. As the SEALs filed past the casket, they removed their golden tridents from their uniforms and pressed them onto the walls of the coffin. The simple wooden coffin became a gold-plated memorial to a hero named Michael Monsoor. The Navy SEALs have a creed. In the worst of conditions, the legacy of my teammates steadies my resolve and silently guides my every deed. I will not fail. Petty Officer Michael Anthony Monsoor did not fail. Country first. Roger that.